Hi guys, so in this video I'm going to be doing my bookshelf tour. So we'll start with get your face out. <laughs> we'll start with the top. You can see all the PlayStation games up here. Here we have stand-up comedy DVDs. And here we have superheroes up to Spider-Man and Harry Potter. And then over here if we just have standalone DVDs or Bridget Jones, that's not standalone, but still. And then we have Death Note and Jack and Daxter game. Above that we have a birthday present and another birthday present there. And then I have a bridesmaid teddy bear up there next to the cup that I've had for the last 10 years. Um, and then I have a candle and then a photo of me and my best friend. On either side of the bookshelf we have David Tennant and a Taylor Swift calendar. And then on this side we have Demi Lovato and Shania Twain and some old photos. So... On the first shelf here, we have a candle and some Pokemon characters all along the front. Um, and a candle up there. But book-wise, we have Stephen King, Dolores Claiborne, Stephen King's Cell, Stephen King's Insomnia, Stephen King's Dreamcatcher, Stephen King Desperation, one of my favourites, Stephen King It, and Stephen King The Stand, oh. Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell, Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell, then we have the new Souls trilogy, which is Incarnate, Asunder, and Infinite by Jodie Meadows, To All the Boys I've Loved Before, by Jenny Han and P.S. I Still Love You by Jenny Han. And then the last thing on the shelf is the Twilight series. In this box we have Twilight. Hold it up. Twilight by Stephanie Meyer. I hope I said that right. Then we have New Moon. Then we have Eclipse. Then we have Breaking Dawn. So the next book we have is this one, which is called The Short Second Life of Brie Tanner by Stephanie Meyer. This is an extra book in the Twilight Saga. The next shelf we have, we have a few things on here. We have more Pokemon charms. There are Pokemon charms on most of the shelves. So then we've got a camper van notebook. So if we just scoop these to the side you can see that on here starting here Stephen King Finders Keepers Stephen King Revival Stephen King Misery so then at this side I'm not going to take these out of the box because of the struggle I had with the Twilight box but we have the Hunger Games and obviously that consists of the Hunger Games Catching Fire and Mockingjay so that is by Suzanne Collins. Stephen King's The Dark Tower, The Gunslinger. Stephen King, The Dark Tower, The Drawing of the Three. Stephen King, The Wastelands, The Dark Tower. Stephen King, Stephen King, Wizard and Glass, The Dark Tower. We have Stephen King, Wolves of the Caller, The Dark Tower. And we have Stephen King, Song of Susanna, The Dark Tower. Stephen King, The Dark Tower. This is called Stephen King, The Wind Through the Keyhole. Now, this is chronologically set between volumes 4 and 5, so it's set between The Wizard in Glass and Wolves of the Caller, although it doesn't, it's not in that bit because, you, as you can see, mm -hmm. it says The Dark Tower across the books, and if we put that in the middle, it ruins the picture. Here we have Maggie Steve out of The Raven Boy, Maggie Steve out of The Dream Thief, Maggie Steve out of Blue Lily, Lily Blue. Okay, so we have the Percy Jackson series, we have Percy Jackson and The Lightning Thief, Percy Jackson and The Sea of Monsters, can't read that backwards. Then we have Percy Jackson and The Titan's Curse. Then we have Percy Jackson and The Battle of Labyrinth. And then we finally we have Percy Jackson and the Last Olympian. So we have the Fireside Book of David Hope from 1979, the Fireside Book of David Hope from 1980, and the Fireside Book of David Hope from 1984. Then we have the Fireside Book um, from 2012 that I haven't read. 
else. So next on the list is my Death Note. Obviously this is not a proper book, it is just quite literally a prop. A replica of a prop from the TV show Death Note. So this is the Divergent series by Veronica Roth. It's got Divergent, Insurgent and Allegiant. Next shelf down is this one. We start with a Chopper Chops candle and some more little Pokemon charms. And what we can start with on here is Mr. Mercedes by Stephen King. And then underneath that we have Do McKee by Stephen King. So here we have the prequel series to the Mortal Instruments. It is Clockwork Angel. Clockwork Prince and Clockwork Princess, all by Cassand Cassandra Clare. First of all, we have Stephen King, The Shining. Then we have Stephen King, Salem's Lot. We have Stephen King, The Dark Heart. Then we have Stephen King, Cujo. And Stephen King, Pet Cemetery. Is this? This is Death Note, the manga volume 2. So we have The Kill Order, which is the prequel to The Maze Runner, The Maze Runner by James Dashner, we have The Scorch Trials and finally we have The Death Cure. Paper Towns by John Green, Looking for Alaska by John Green, this is a little monkey I got from my placement at Eureka, The Darkest Minds by Alexander Bracken, Never Fade in the Afterlight and they form a sentence, The Darkest Minds Never Fade in the Afterlight, I think that's pretty cool. Then we have Snow Like Ashes by Sarah Rash, I hope I said that right. And then we have the sec sequel in that called Ice Like Fire and there is a third one coming out. Okay, we also have on the shelf, we have Doctor Sleep by Stephen King, which is the sequel to The Shining. Then we have another little Campervan notebook. We have a candle that's from Starburst flavour and it's Pina, Pina Colada flavoured. Then we have a book called Let It Snow that's by John Green, Maureen Johnson and Laura Miracle. Next on the shelf we have the Middle Earth series. We have the Hobbit and two of the Lord of the Rings books. The other one is on my desk because I'm currently reading it. On the next shelf you can see that there is a minion that is from a McDonald's Happy Meal. We have another green camper van. We have some more candles. Uh, we've got the little duck that should have been moved back up here. Move this stuff back along. Put the duck back. And then down here, we also have another little minion over here wearing a knitted hat. So if we go back to this side, the first book in the Dexter series, which is called Darkly Dreaming Dexter by Jeff Lindsay. Then we have Dearly Devoted Dexter by Jeff Lindsay. And Dexter in the Dark by Jeff Lindsay. Up here we have Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. And I also have Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, but that is also on my desk because I'm currently reading it. Okay, next to Harry Potter, we have the three Harry Potter companion books. We have... Tales of Beedle the Bard, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, and Quidditch Through the Ages. Next on the list is the Throne of Glass series, so by Sarah J. Maas. So we're starting off with Throne of Glass, Crown of Midnight, Heir of Fire, Queen of Shadows. Okay, so next we have Stephen King, Bag of Bones. Next is one of my current reads. It's Stephen King, Lizzie's Story, and I'm that much through. I've nearly finished it. Next is Stephen King, Hearts in Atlantis, and Stephen King, Rose Madder, Stephen King, The Green Mile, 
Stephen King, The Batchman books. This book has Running Man, Long The Long Walk and Roadwork within it. Next is Stephen King, The Girl Who Loved Tom Garden. And finally for this shelf, Steve Stephen King, Needful Thing. Okay, on this shelf, this is quite a full shelf, um, we have um, some more candles, a salted caramel one from Yankee Candle, because they've stopped selling those now. Um, another camper van notebook, this one is yellow. And then we have a pomegranate candle from Yankee Candle up here. Stephen King's first ever book, Stephen King, Carrie, Stephen King, Christine, Stephen King, From a Buick 8, Stephen King, The Dead Zone, Stephen King, 11, 22, um, Next we have my Jane Austen book, Northanger Abbey, which I got before I got the other Jane Austen book. And then we have Stephanie Perkins trilogy, which is Anna and the French Kiss, Lola and the Boy Next Door, and Isla and the Happily Ever After. Stephen King and Peter Straub, Black House. And finally on the top of the bookshelf we have Stephen King, Under the Dome. The Tahira Mafi set, we have Shatter Me, Unravel Me, and Ignite Me. Now this, Unite Me with Destroy Me and Fracture Me, this goes within the trilogy it's little half story short stories that fit in between the, the books so that's a really good book to have fire and flood by victoria scott and salt and stone by victoria scott next we have the third and the fourth book in the hannibal lecter series is thomas harris hannibal and thomas harris hannibal rises haven't read Silence of the Lambs. I've read Red Dragon because I borrowed that off a friend. But before I can read these two, I need to read Silence of the Lambs. Humans A to Z by Matt Haig. Reasons to Stay Alive by Matt Haig. The Radleys by Matt Haig. Finally by Matt Haig we have The Human. Next we have my Game of Thrones box. You can see that we have a Game of Thrones. We have A Clash of Kings. A Sword of Storms 1, Steel and Snow. A Sword of Storms 2, Blood and Gold. We've got A Feast for Crows. Um, a Dance with Dragons 1, Dreams and Dust. And then A Dance with Dragons 2, After the Feast. So, that's that shelf. I'm just going to put these back. So finally on the bottom shelf you can see that this is mostly folders starting at this end. This is my level 4 folder for university, my first year folder. This was my first fo first term folder for second year. This was my second term folder. And these are all folders that I have prepared for next year for each of my modules for my third and final year. Um, I have some paper for drawing and planning and whatnot. Um, I have some more notebooks uh this one's probably my favorite because it's got like bang and boom and stuff on it and then we have like my tardis diary okay then we have like folders and clipboards and just stuff and then here we have all my sketchbooks and artwork that i've done all my drawing that i just keep in one box just to it then up here we have a Sherlock Chronicles book which doesn't fit on the bookshelf so it sits on the desk. So you can see I've decorated this bookshelf. Ignore all that stuff that's up there, that's not mine apart from the ghost. All these books are Scots. Um, so if we, this bookshelf you'll see I decorated it with the charity band I made out of rubber loom bands. I have here a little um, chip box or fries box if you're American with a little face on it and it's got little removable chips and it, again it's made completely out of loom bands. Then I have my giant salted caramel candle which is my favourite thing. Um, I have all my different bookmarks, some of them I've had for years. Um, these two I was given by friends in 2011 when this film came out. 
then I have one that I got for free off Amazon for ordering loads of books and these are superhero bookmarks that my mum bought um, and they've got my name on them in rainbow the orange one is missing because it's in one of my current books we have ink by Amanda Sun the manifesto on how to be interesting by Holly Bourne I'll give you the sun as red as blood then we have Moriarty by Anthony Horowitz we have Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte The Versions of Us by Laura Barnett The Art of Being Normal by Lisa Williamson Got Railway Children by E. Nesbitt this is another book I've had since I was a child So You've Been Publicly Shamed by John Ronson All My Friends Are Superheroes by Andrew Andrew Kaufman, Hector in the Search for Happiness, The Drowning of Arthur Braxton by Caroline Smales, and we have The Ice Twins by S.K. Tremaine, we have The Little Old Lady Who Broke All the Rules by Katharina Ingleman Sundberg, then we have Vivian vs. The Apocalypse by Katie Coyle, Tom Holt, The Portable Door, Life with a Sprinkle of Glitter by Louise Pentland, we have my season one of Buffy, season two of Buffy, my season three, five and season six of Buffy. I don't have season four or seven yet. And then obviously we have my Sherlock Seasons 1 to 3 box set. Self Health by Miranda Sings. So next on this next shelf we can see we've got some cherries on here and some rainbows that I also made out of rubber loom bands. Um, we've got a lot of creatures on here. We've got over here we've got some little penguins and a snake. We have a mouse up here. Just move you in a bit so you can see. We have a mouse up here. Um, we've got three little ghosts on here, which are also finger puppets. So up here we have Superman, and these are made of lead. I have Superman and the Joker. I also I also have a Batman, but he's a bit broken at the minute, so he's being repaired. Um, and they're all sitting on my friend's box set. Um, here have my Walt Disney classic books so we have The Little Mermaid, Alice in Wonderland, Bambi, Cinderella, uh, 101 Directions, Sleeping Beauty, The Jungle Book, Pinocchio, Lady and the Tramp, The Aristocats, Tarzan, The Sorcerer's Apprentice. So if we go over here next to the penguins that we can see that that corner is looking very rainbow. Starting at the top we have Connor Franta, A Work in Progress but we have the magician's nephew, the lion, the witch, and the wardrobe. I'll show you back so you can see them. Then we have then we have the voyage of the dawn treader, the silver chair, and the last battle. Okay. So the next thing we have over here is the Roald Dahl collection. Now, uh, I'm not going to get all those out because it would be moving all these um, just to get all them out, and they were tricky to put in. So, um, these have been in my family since we were children and they were given to me, they were my mum's initially, then they were my brother's and my brother let me keep them. So we have James and the Giant Peach, uh, we've got Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, we've got the Magic Finger, we've got the Fantastic Mr Fox, Charlie and the Great Glass Elevator, Danny the Champion of the World. Um, we've got the Enormous Crocodile, the Twits, which has always been my favourite of the Roald Dahl collection. George's Marvelous Medicine, also one of my favourites. Um, then we've got, then we've got the BFG, the Witches, the Boy Tales of Childhood, uh, the Draft, the Pelly and Me, Going Solo, Matilda, also one of my favourites, Easy or Trot, which is Tortoise spelled backwards. So those are the Roald Dahl collection i know that's not all the roll doll books but that is all the ones that we own it's grief is the thing with feathers by max porter beauty queens by libba Bray. the red house mystery which is a detective novel by a a mill the honor code this book loves you by pewdiepie the glam guide by fleur de force 
So, and you can see there while these are off that there is Little Women, Pointless Book One and Two, uh, Big Magic, which I've spoken about a lot, um, and by Elizabeth Gilbert, and the Pointless books are both by Alfie and Little Women's by Louise May Alcott, Alcott. And here we have The Girl on the Train by Paula Hawkins. Yeah, so, if we come along here, obviously we've got the Friends box set, we've got the, the Walt Disney collection. I Hate My Selfie by Shane Dawson. Um, we have You Deserve a Drink, My Memory Heart, and Joey Graceffa's In Real Life. Carrie Hope Fletcher, All I Know Now. Marcus Butler, Hello Life. Then we have Zoella Girl Online and Zoella Girl Online on top. The amazing book is Not On Fire. Then we have Username Eve by Joe Sugg. Then we have Love Tanya by Tanya Burr. Then we have Binge by Tyler Oakley. Grace's Guide by Grace Helbig. Grace and Style by Grace Helbig. Finally, the last book on the shelf is My Drunk Kitchen by Hannah Hart. Okay, so next we go to the bottom shelf and you can see we've got some fish swimming along the bookshelf. It really hurt my fingers pinning all these in. We have my little teddy elephant down here. So down here on the bottom we have a tortoise. We have a pumpkin basket. I'm not going to pull any of these books out because they really do stick in. Um, but we have the Marvel Avengers Encyclopedia. We have the Animal Encyclopedia. Here we have all my creative colouring books. Um, my adult colouring books which were bought because they helped with my anxiety. Here we have a lot of paperwork um, and six weeks worth of rotors from placement. Um, what's at the top here? We have my Marvel Avengers. Then we also have my X-Men encyclopedia. So that we have some puzzle books and um, a Winnie the Pooh book. Uh, then we have some children's reading books which I have, um, then we have a vegetarian cookbook, um, a book on the human body, uh, a book on psychology there, and a student vegetarian cookbook, then we have a book on mental strength, um, and then we have my uni textbooks, um, which consist of, starting from here, we have uh, Understanding Childhood and fam Children and Families, then we have the Ethics Guide for Psychology, uh, this one is Easy Statistics in Psychology, Research Methods in Psychology, which was actually written by my teacher. Uh, then we have Heads Up Psychology, Psy the Psychology book, which were bought. These weren't bought for uni. These were just bought um, from, I think it was The Works, just, just for the read. Uh, then we have Understanding Childhood, the Study Seals book. Social psychology, development, psych developmental psychology, and biological psychology. So, just stand up there. And then I have a little hedgehog down here that says 18, and um, a little pink hippo that says heart. It has a pink heart, so it's actually purple. And then just at the bottom here, I have some notebooks and diaries and just bits of paper that I didn't have anywhere on the shelves to put them. But that was my bookshelf tour. Um, but that was my two bookcases that I have filled with books. And I will do the... the how rude. But thank you for watching. Let's see if you've stayed till the end. But thank you for watching. And I'll see you later.